Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the bullpen. All right, he's back. In the bullpen today, I have attorney at law, Los Angeles attorney extraordinaire. All right, very popular guy. We have attorney Kurt Slitter. And we're gonna chop it up about January 6th and also maybe get into constitutional care. We talked about that briefly last time he was on the show. Kurt, attorney, good to see you again, brother. How are you? Dr. Richie, thank you so much for having me back. I had so much fun the last time. It's always talk to, good to talk to somebody who maybe doesn't agree with everything I think. I think that's where we get to the truth, right? I hope so. So we're gonna give it a shot, all right? I don't want to presume what you know or believe about these topics. Let's start with January 6th since we're in the anniversary week of that terrorist attack. What are your thoughts about what happened? And then I will share my sentiment. Well, look, I, I, I'm against political violence of all types. Uh, I am strongly in favor of uh, uh, vigorous protest. Uh, what happened in January 6th has been blown out of proportion utterly and completely. It is not on par with 9-11 or on par with uh, Pearl Harbor. Maybe I'm a little biased. I was with the army on the streets of Los Angeles and South Central uh, helping uh, uh, helping uh, reinstall peace during a real riot which lasted many days and left almost 60 people dead. Uh, most of my troops uh, lived in the area that was affected. Uh, so we were all very dedicated to keeping the peace. So I, look, I, I, I think it's being exploited. Uh, I, I don't think it was a transcendent event. I think it was a relatively minor fracas in the big scheme of things. And uh, I have huge concerns about the unequal prosecution uh, for the people who are uh, uh, have been arrested. I don't see it being equal to what other uh, uh, comparable events, uh, and uh, that that's unacceptable. So I'm I'm much more concerned, Dr. Ritchie, with the fallout from afterwards. How are we going to treat the people who were caught up in this? Are we going to treat them the same as we treat other people? It, because if we're not, that's not acceptable. <laughs> My dear brother. All right, where do I start? Let me first start with, do you know how many law enforcement officials were injured during the terrorist attack on January 6th? How many? Well, first of all, it wasn't a terrorist attack. A terrorist do you know how many were injured or not? Attack. This was a minor riot. How many were on injured? Par with most football, uh, you Attorney know, Kirk. football or basketball Ask did not answer. But again, not excusing hurting police officers. Sir, are you going to answer the question, brother? Yeah, I, I, oh, over 100. Injured. Over 100 were, uh, law enforcement personnel were injured. Now, let me go back to your original proclamation that this was not a terrorist attack. What's the definition of terrorism? A terrorist attack is a politically motivated, uh, uh, mm -hmm. violent action mm -hmm. designed mm -hmm. to inflict fear and change policy through fear. There you go, I think brother. That's a good, useful definition. All right, that's the working legal definition. Basically, the use of criminality, violence, and intimidation to civilians and non-civilians in order to impact a political outcome. So you I, basically I think that's have a fair it. Definition. All right, that's a fair definition. Now, how does that definition, Attorney Kirk, not square with the political violence? We just admitted. You just admitted on my show, 100 cops were actually injured. You just admitted that that's violence. Well, that's a fact. Right? How can I that's not right. Admit it? So, how is it that terrorism? You said it's not terrorism. No. Terrorism not is the both. use of violence, the use of intimidation, the use of these methods in order to affect a political outcome. You don't get more political, brother, than the certification of a United States presidential election. They were trying to stop that process oh, I, according I, to their expressed intent. So how was this not terrorism based on the definition you just provided to me? Well, first of all, you have to accept your premise that they were attempting to stop the count. I think a lot of them were attempting to simply go there and make their voices known. Uh, and, and so what was the mantra being the chanted by those thousands of what, terrorists? Thousands? What, 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 was thousands? The, what was the mantra what being was chanted? What the mantra being chanted by thousands? What's your contention? It was stop the steal. Remember? Yes. No, what I, was the I, rally I, called? Hold on, are brother. They, are they supposed brother, to not these are what they these are simple steal? questions. What was the rally called that they attended first 
before they raided the Capitol? What was the rally called? I believe, well, I believe you're gonna tell me it was Stop the Steal, which is- And what is in question in reference to the verbiage Stop the Steal? What are they talking about stopping? There is, there is a justifiable suspicion that many formal and informal violations of norms and possibly laws connected with the 2020 election existed. Now, our look, elections I political. I, I work for the president. Our elections the, political. Well, I was one of his lawyers there. So our look, elections look political. Well, everything's political. How do you how do you not be polit- political? Is how we deal. With decisions in our society, so There's elections are in fact political. Politics, politics. Elections politics are politics. in fact political. Correct. I'm sorry. Say again. Elections are in fact political. Correct. Well, of course. There was violence to stop a political process. Correct. Characterizing the entire uh, events of January 6th as a, a as political violence. Attempting to somehow stop the election is incorrect. It was they said they were trying the to stop the, the election that, certification. That, that you, look, look, many people walked through, many people were loud, many people were taking selfies. Some people got in, 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 in a fights with the cops. That happens a lot, that happens at the Portland courthouse, to which people were, you know, their charges dismissed. Uh, happened after the uh, inauguration of President Trump, all those charges were dismissed. And I think that's a big, frankly to me, a bigger concern is unequal application of the law. If you're, <laughs> we either have one set of laws or we have two. Let and me give you two, unequal application the of the law. Let me give you unequal application of the law since this seems to be a big deal for you. It's a very big uh, deal. Black, black defendants are 22% more likely to be sentenced to a harsher penalty than white defendants with the same crime and same background. Are you concerned about that unequal application of the law? I'd be extremely concerned if I if I was convinced that evidence was correct. If that is a true statement that you have made, that's an outrage. Let me but ask is you there this: Other factors at play. Let is me ask you accurate? this: I just said with I the don't same know background. The answer, but if Let's somebody if somebody is mm-hmm. uh, uh, treated differently because of their political view, or treated differently because of their race, mm-hmm. or treated differently because of their sexual orientation, that is absolutely wrong. I yeah, it is wrong. We cannot have a dual system of justice. There okay, has to but be we do. A standard for everyone. Well, first of all, we do have a dual system of justice, and you know this as a lawyer. Lady Justice is not blind. The symbol that's utilized in oh. justice to proclaim what justice should be. Lady Justice is not blind. Lady Absolutely Justice is true. blindfolded. Which means Lady Justice at any time can peek from under the blindfold. Her sight works just fine. Ritchie, and there's, are, an, see, equ- there's an inequity. We we have found agreement here. Okay. Uh, I often tell people, look, if you're looking for justice, you're not necessarily going to find it in a courthouse. Yeah, all right. But that doesn't mean you and I can't can't fight for it. And Let that includes you. sometimes taking the side of people that you know others will tell us we're not supposed to be on the same side of. All I'm right. On Let the me side ask you this. Freedom and rights. I think you are too. Yeah. Let me ask you this. Um, I believe those that stormed the Capitol committed not only criminal trespass, destruction of property, physical assault on police officers, went there armed, went there with bombs, went there to do actual violence. I think they absolutely should be dealt with in a harsher way. You think they are being dealt with too harshly. But let me put another perspective in front of you. If members of a Black Lives Matter protest, right? If they were protesting because Let's say Donald Trump won the election and they did not believe Donald Trump was legitimate in that victory. And they decided to take a rally to the lawn of the Capitol, illegally enter the Capitol, break windows, scale the walls, break into offices, physically assault over 100 officers and deaths are created from their movement. Would you blame them? Or would you defend them on my show? Well, well, look, I I, I don't have to go out. I, I don't have to think of that as hypothetical because that sort of thing did happen. We had Antifa and Black Lives Matter riots all over the country that did hurt people and did lead to deaths. Uh, there, there Sir, were that's a, first of all, that's a ridiculous an answer and a false not, premise. But I believe it's Kurt, just, are you going to answer? You can't lawyer me, brother. I'm Are you going to answer you. the I'm question, would you. you defend if it was black folk, brown folk, folk with the last name Muhammad 
storming the US Capitol, disrupting a constitutionally mandated process. Would you come here on this show and say, oh, people are blowing that out of proportion? Uh, if they were blowing it out of proportion, I would. <laughs> And, and, Look at and, and you, Kurt. Look at you, man. Observing that uh, there's unequal treatment, that we have people who have a constitutional right to a speedy trial who sat in jail for a year without bail and still don't have trial dates. I don't think pointing, pointing that out is somehow defending somebody. I think that's defending the Constitution. Let me ask you do you believe what happened was violent? Rights. Do you believe what happened was violent? On January 6th, was it? Was violent. It was violent. Explain this to me. You consider yourself. I believe yourself. some of it wasn't. I believe okay. some of, you, know, you, you, you believe some of it was guy violent. With horns going and sitting on the uh, speaker's chair. Uh, that wasn't violent. Let me ask you this question. You do consider yourself to be a conservative, correct? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm within the conservative side. If you want to get more specific, explain this to me. Drill down. Why is it that 70% of Republicans believe? That what happened at the Capitol was not violent. I don't know if that's what they believe. Uh, I I don't. They don't believe it's an insurrection because insurrection is a a, a term of art with a specific meaning. Uh, <laughs> they don't believe it was on par with 9/11 or. Do you uh, believe what they fraud. said? I'm talking about the attackers. What they said they were trying to do. Do you believe them? Well, well who were the attacker? I mean, if you're talking about a couple of nuts. That doesn't represent Sir, do you call 745 rally? individuals who have been arrested? A few hundred of those have pled guilty. 40 of them have been charged with conspiracy because of their coordinated efforts. Do you charge do you call that minor? Well, most of these people are <laughs> charged with parading illegally. Sir, uh, do you call that minor? Murder. Do you call it minor when they attempted assault. To kidnap the governor of Michigan, you call that minor? Oh, I think I think that is a giant scam, and I am looking forward uh, to a trial where the FBI's role in it can be fully explained. I think. Okay, so you think? Wait a minute. Heads, you think it's a uh, it's a scam? Stupid things. I think. What's that's, a scam? Uh, I, I don't think that's the proper role of the FBI. But you think it's a scam that there was an attempted kidnapping of a sitting I don't governor? There was. Or I don't tell me what evidence that. do you have? I don't believe that has been proven beyond a reasonable doubt. And well, the fact sir, that the you FBI know this, Kurt. It's deeply involved, won't be trying, won't be participating in the case because they've either been fired. Oh, Kurt. One of them, one of them got arrested for Kurt, up you've gone flight. full Marjorie Taylor Green on my show, sir. I'm sorry? You've gone full Marjorie Taylor Green. I have. I, uh, I don't think you should have me. Uh, 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 you not. You shouldn't label me as uh, uh, somebody else. I, I I know that has a lot of meaning to your audience, but that's that, that's not who I am. Do you I'm support Marjorie say, Taylor Greene? Hey, we have a constitution. Do you support Marjorie that. Taylor Greene? I'm sorry. You support Marjorie Taylor Greene? I support all Republicans. All of them. Well, not on everything they say. I get annoyed with some of them sometimes. I think you probably get ignored, annoyed with some of your Democrats. Like, yeah, I, I don't support, support Joe Manchin. Hell no, let me tell you something, brother. I don't support Democrats. I don't support Republicans. I support people who support people. I support well, I, people I, who support I, the communities I, I, I that I love. I belong to the Republican Party and I support the Republican Party. All general. right, so basically you engage in tribalism. But that was, doesn't everybody? That, isn't that normal? We should work sure, against I mean, that. Of, think, think about uh, the if ideology. Part of a party, doesn't it make sense to support your party in it general? It makes sense to support the agenda of progressing the value system you believe in. You well, may disagree with me as it relates the to value. Parties, in, in a two party system, the Republican mm -hmm. Party is the party of the right. The party of the right is generally going to support the things that I support. Am yeah. I a registered Republican? Yeah, would it be? It would well, be good, good for you on that. But yeah. let, let me ask you this, and, and we got to go to the next show, and I want to make sure I get you on record with this, okay? Sure. Uh, so, in your estimation, terrorism is, in fact, violence in order to affect a political outcome. But for some I, reason, I, Go ahead. Violence to cause fear among civilians to correct cause a political outcome. Yes, that is a now according to the definition that you've stated, which by the way is ninety percent accurate. According to your definition no, that you've stated on the okay, show, that's good. We could look through. We could look through okay. the United States but code. That does like in that. fact fit what happened on January sixth. The reason why I keep bringing this to your attention is because we have to call a thing a thing. We have to be very honest about what happened on January sixth. 
uh, the sentencing of these individuals, even the chief district federal judge said what they did does not fit the deals that they are being given because these deals are basically cookie cut deals. And these uh, plea deals do not match the severity of what happened on that day. This was not simply a protest well, I, 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 gone bad. This was a coordinated effort at top to bottom. They wanted Mike Pence to do something. They wanted this ground game to do something. They wanted to stop the Electoral College from being certified. That, sir, is political. So how do you say this was a minor thing and people are blowing it out of proportion? We're talking about the very foundation of democracy in the United States of America. Uh, no, we're not. It was, How? A pro- How it, it was a protest. Some of these people got out of hand. Some of these people <laughs> went in areas they weren't supposed to. The vast majority <laughs> were not violent. Some got in tussles with cops. That's true. So, some that got happens. in tussles. Uh, my concern is, this are is, we being treated equal? is everybody being treated the same? <laughs> And uh, we, we certainly no, don't. No, man. Well, listen, here's what we agree. They're not being treated equal. They're being treated supreme. They're not being treated the same. They're being treated as if they have white privilege. Because oh, really? I guarantee you, Sitting oh, you're damn right. Year, I huh? guarantee you, they, they ass need to be in jail for 20 man, years. I, Talk, l- let me say this, brother. That's not great privilege. If their last name, privilege. if their last names would have been Muhammad or they would have been black or brown, you know good and damn well, because you've been working in law too long, you know good and damn well this system would have dealt with them in a much different way. In what way are they gonna you know, send SWAT teams to their house? Well, we got that. Keep them in human conditions, we got that. Not give them a speedy trial, we got that. Not give All right. them the evidence against I gotta go to the next show. I gotta go to the next show. It's always fun. Oh, Kurt, routine. come on, man. Kurt, go sip a latte. I appreciate <laughs> you being on the show. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir.